when you're using data, one of the common problems is you're not really sure if the transformation or function you've applied has really worked. Or you want to inspect what the current shape's name is, current shape's uh, size is. In such cases, the print command helps you. So let's say you have uh, a transformation. Let's say you load data from the sales data set and you load a function uh, called country wise, which groups the data by country. Let's say you calculate total sales as, uh, let's say, function sales dot sales of sales dot sum. Now, <clears throat> you want to put this into a text box, let's say text box two, with a text colon, let's say uh, total sales. Now, you're not really sure if this is going to do the right thing. So, your next step, uh, so we should have probably put this in quotes. Uh, your next step would be to see what the value of total sales is, what the value of sales itself is. So, let's print sales as a data set. So, when we do this and run slide sense, after we close the output, this of course creates uh, a certain output but the print command literally prints the variable that we asked for so it's saying sales is this particular value if i wanted to print total sales then it would print the value of total sales after i close this and on the command line we have the total sales as being the value that is displayed if I want to see the result of a complex transformation, let's say sales dot group by of uh, country, uh, and within that I want to take just the sales column and sum it and see what this is going to give me. Then again, after I close this, it will print the result. Sorry, I closed the wrong one. It will print the result on the command prompt, which is that I have India's total sales to be so much, Singapore's total sales to be so much, and so on. Print is extremely useful when you don't get the results you want and want to debug your data.